Afternoon, Sean again. It's uh, Monday. Um, there's a frantic frenzy of dumping of dirt up here. About a truck every five minutes that's coming in and dumping looks like residential soil. So what I learned in uh, court from Weasel Boy on uh, Thursday when we were in Vancouver is that if they cover this pile of crap and toxins, um, I'd like you to look at the plastic bags that are on top of that. Yeah, so once they bury this landfill underneath that three meters of clean soil, apparently it makes it clean. So as long as it's buried under residential soil, it makes it residential again, as far as they're concerned. So it doesn't matter that they've buried a giant bag of poo underneath residential soil, which we'll just call icing. So basically, they've got a big bag of poo, putting some icing on it and telling us that it's a cupcake. It's not a cupcake, dude. It's a big pile of poo with icing on it. So this is what they're doing now. So that's what's coming in every five minutes. There's a double pup coming in and dumping soil. So it would be really nice if people could ex tell me where they're coming from. If you see trucks coming out, let me know. Um, and then we can um, find out where they're going, coming from, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm not going to go down below today just because the wind's blowing. And the last time I was down there, I could still smell the bag of poo. So I don't want to go near the bag of poo. And um, I'm only still recovering from from the last time I was poisoned by them. So I just don't want to do this anymore from, from down there where I can um, inhale it. So I'm upwind right now and I'm going to stay that way. <laughs> um, so anyways, this is now what's going on. They're not allowed to bring in any contaminated soil um, right now because the injunction is back in place from Justice McKenzie when he said that you're not allowed to have a landfill in a forestry residential industrial zone according to the bylaws. And they appealed it, and Justice Kirkpatrick said, yes, you can dump 105,000 tons of contaminated soil in there, and I'll use my own decision from Peachland to make this decision. So roll on, boys, roll on. So they did. And that's what this big pile of poo down here is. It's Port Moody and Defar Department of National Defense, DND Esquimalt. Really, really nasty stuff, people. Like, seriously nasty stuff. And then that one barge or dump truck loads that were just disgusting, like the stuff that's actually poisoning us when we were inhaling it. So um, I just met another dump watcher leaving as I was coming in, and he was saying that uh, he's having to limit his time up here too because um, he is inhaling this stuff, and it's making him sick. He inhaled the same stuff that I inhaled on the Tuesday, and he was sick for two days, and I was sick for three. So um, I don't know what they've dumped in here, but I can guarantee it's not clean. Over there, I don't know where it's coming from, but it looks fairly clean. And they're going around the scales, which means they're not having to weigh it. So it's just, that would be the dirt that uh, John Alexander is talking about. Oh, here comes another one. This is Altera coming in. So we've got Altera coming in. So this guy just left and I am now, what, three minutes and 24 seconds into my video. And uh, yes, yeah, about one every five minutes. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of trucks coming in, dumping dirt from wherever. We really need to get a soil importation bylaw in place here. Um, if the CVRD has any balls and actually does that, we really need to get control over who is bringing soil into us. And we've got to stop moving soil people and start dealing with it on site with what things that we can do with it. Because this moving of soil is just getting crazy disgusting. We're filling in forests with soil. Um, there's a report now on Beadnell Creek in um, Cowichan. Uh, the guy just backed his truck in and dumped uh, three meters of soil into a creek. He just buried a salmon-bearing creek. And, yeah, do you think something's going to happen to him? No. So imagine, you know, coming in with a truck and just burying these trees, you know, up to that branch, top branch there. Yeah, that's where the soil would be. So, I mean, that's just crazy that people are so disconnected that they don't even look around to see where they're dumping their crap. So these guys know where they're dumping their crap. They're dumping it above us. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go now and um, head home because I've had a long day. I've already stood on the side of the road and waved for the LNG, cried for the tree, and now done this. So I'm just going to go home and, and try and decompress myself. Okay, bye. Love you.